Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we just finished the Great American Loop. Woohoo! And re entry to land life is hard. <laughs> okay, Admiral is hopping off for the last time. Give her a kiss. Captain. I love driving you. What an incredible adventure. Why is it hard? Why is it hard? Well, you hear that a lot of people are, are kind of bombed or blue when they're done with the loop. And, and you can explain why. I mean, you had a great analogy the other day. Kind of train for the loop. You get so ready for so many years. I liken it to an Olympic athlete who's training, training, training. They do their event and then it's kind of like all that and it's done. Like, what do I do with my life? So obviously when you're a parent, you have to raise kids, but there's a chapter that you plan and plan for and then it's done and you're kind of like, wow, it's, it's done. done. And it's a great feeling, but it's also, I wouldn't say an emptiness, but it's like a chapter that closed. But it definitely but for us i think a lot of people who aren't as like we have kids so we we have like we we hit the ground at home running and it's been a lot and so we have not had time to really be blue yep. about it i'm you, not blue about it i was retired, like great we did it yeah good for us if you retired you move back into your house that you didn't rent we rented our house and everything was exactly i think it would it would be more it of a be. yeah could be more of a wow let, not a letdown, just yeah, a different, different. We've been so busy, distracted. Well, what's been hard for us is that we rented our house, so we had to de-rent our house, and I have lots of thoughts and comments on that. And renting has its pros and its cons. For us, it was mostly good. So we had to de-renter our house. We have to unpack everything. We moved in right before, like the day before all the school stuff started. So then we've got the start of the school year, the start of sports. And also to up our level of difficulty, we adopted a puppy. <laughs> that was a huge strategic but error. a great distraction it was, it was a, <laughs> an error and the reason we did is we had promised our, our sweet old dog had passed away we had promised our kids as soon as we were done with the loop we would get a dog and so we kept our word and we were not going to get a dog to take on a boat we had the two cats and that was perfect yes so as soon as we got back to our house we adopted a puppy and she is adorable but a nuts handful. and a lot. So it has taken us a lot longer to move into our house or unpack all of our boxes and get settled because we're spending time with this nutty dog. Yeah. Um, so that is that's been a lot on our plate. So that's really why reentry has been hard. It's just it's just intense. Yeah. I guess. And we knew that going in. The puppy added a layer of difficulty. And then uh, we still own Sea Shine. And I'm not going to say we don't own Sea Shine until the money is in our bank account. So we might not own Sea Shine much longer, we've or said, we might. I don't know. We've said goodbye to Sea Shine like three times. Anyway, but we <laughs> we still own Sea Shine, and Sea Shine was directly in the path of Hurricane Adalia. I don't know if you remember, the hurricane hit the west coast of Florida, then went across Florida and drilled Brunswick, which is where Brunswick, Georgia, which is where Sea Shine is. And ironically, we had moved Sea Shine to Brunswick for insurance purposes because that's where they wanted us to be for hurricane season. And we got hammered. So there was about six hours where we thought we were going to lose Sea Shine. We thought the dock that Sea Shine was tied to was going to give way. And if the dock broke, um, then all of everybody on that dock and all, all was lost. and all was lost. But for about six hours, we were bracing for the dock to go and for Sea Shine to go. And we had boots on the ground. A neighboring boat was there. They were keeping us, you know, kind of hour by yourself. hour. And we, then we didn't. The, the last comment was. It's getting bad. We're leaving the boat and going to our car in the parking lot. And then we didn't hear anything. And we were like, Well, and they, oh, wow. they said that the boat across from us was quote unquote yep. coming apart and the dock is most likely going to give was way. Coming apart. Anyway, the dock didn't give way. Ah! And Sea Shine came through without a scratch. Um, but that was stressful. That added to our layer of stress. And then um, unfortunately, we had a family crisis. Crisis. My dad had a stroke. And it's not good. And so that's been bad. Yeah. I don't know how else to... But those are things that not every person is going to have on the loop. But you'll get back and, and things can happen on the loop too. The fact that what happened with your dad didn't happen while we were on the boat. Because yes. it probably would have meant... It would have stopped. Our loop would have... We would have been in Michigan and we would have been stuck with getting the boat on the hard. Because 
it's gonna get ready to freeze there so anyway everything works out Every, he's yes. gonna do great we'll we are re-entering yeah. We are happy to be back on land. All of that to say, it's hard, but it's also great to be back with the schedule. It's all stuff we well, it's, it's, besides dad, it's stuff that we anticipated and we put on ourselves. So it's really not bad. It's just the reality of life after the loop. Shortly after the loop. So do you miss being on the boat? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Occasionally, and the kids are saying it when they're kind of quiet. I think we all realize how special it was. We don't want to be on the boat right, right now, now, but we realize how great it was. And I think years from now, when we look back, it was a pivotal moment in our family's life. For sure. It'll be, if not the biggest moment, one of them. Yeah. For, as a family. For sure. But it's good to be home. And we've started editing very small edit of our of our episode vlogs that we're working on to recap and so we anticipated posting already but because of the stuff that we've been dealing in our personal lives that's just taking a back seat again but we're getting going and we have to get going because dun, 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 dun. big announcement we are part of a new network fast tv network called ocean life network oln and they're going to have they're going to work with creators we are one of the creators that they're working with. And they have a great loop channel Within on their network. Ocean Life Network. And we are one of three or four boats three, families. Three loop creators. To represent the adventures of the Great Loop. So we gotta start editing video because there's a TV channel that needs needs our stuff. Anyways, so that's super fun. Great people to work with. We're very excited. Launching mid late October. And you know who's part of it? Captain Steve. We loved Captain Steve. We got to talk to Captain Steve. It's very exciting. And Show and Joe are part of it, and Rev and Sam. Yep. Um, what yacht to do? Very good company. We we're completely honored. So they looked, scoured YouTube for over a year, looked at who knows how many different things they looked at, and YouTube channels that focus on ocean life, and chose us of one of very few. Yeah, so and SD that's super Lose, cool. which is like the fact they looked at some of our early crin cringe worthy. We were written quote. up in Power and Motor Yacht that our first videos were cringeworthy. They absolutely were, but we yeah. got to start somewhere. How else do you learn how to do this? Mm -hmm. um, anyway, but then they like us now. So. Yeah. In fact, she's a drinking game. <laughs> Can you believe that? BBS episodes when I say, what, Beamy Boat and Beamy Snuggerific? Boat. So anyway, we started on a low. Getting back is hard. A re-entry is hard, but all of that, you got to take it all into perspective. Yes, and to us, the loop is a chapter. We have we have lots of adventures ahead, and it's not the end of our boating life. We're gonna we're gonna boat and explore in different ways, just not on our, a sea shine and doing the loop. But I've got lots of I saw an ad for got lots boat. of ideas. Le boat. Mm. I have lots of ideas and there's a lot more to travel. In the short term, we're going to focus on all of our vlog recaps of each leg of the loop. So hopefully they are entertaining and enjoyable and educational, which is always our goal is to entertain, educate, and inspire. So there you have it. And we're about to morph from sitting in front of you side by side telling you about what we did with a little bit of clips in between. <laughs> to watching the chaos. To you actually watching us living the loop. So uh, we're excited to edit it for you. So that's what we're going to get to. If you have any questions or want to know anything else about re-entry, put them in the comments below. Of course, we always appreciate it if you pick up two pieces of trash a day um, to help make our beautiful planet cleaner. Yep. And anything else you want to add? I think people just need to shine on. That's right. Shine, shine on. on.